Hi Cancer, this is High Priestess Jamila here to do your new moon in Capricorn for the first new moon of the new year. So happy new year and merry meet to all of you guys. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please hit that thumbs up. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys need to schedule a private reading with me, my links are below. The link to my Etsy shop is below. Um, and you can also contact me with your Zelle info if you want to pay for your readings by Zelle. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm drinking um, ginger ale right now. So new moons are all about new beginnings and setting intentions for the future. This is going to be the new moon right before Embalk. Um, we do also have a group ritual that will be announced for that that you can get into now, okay? So, um, also the waning moon, we're in a waning moon phase to where people are vanishing. They are repelling negative energy. Um, so, you may be seeing or having more negative stuff happening right now. This new moon in Capricorn uh, is going to be very interesting because it's going to be all about wealth and possibly even health, okay? So, <clears throat> we're going to do a six-card spread <clears throat> with clarifiers. And I'm going to call to the spirit guides, St. Michael for protection, please. Ancestors, guardian angels, ascended masters for the cancer, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. What has cancer released, spirits? Where is cancer at right now? What is emerging within the cancers? What does cancers wish to grow? How can cancer bring their goals into fruition and intentions into fruition? And what additional resources are available to cancer as they manifest their goals? We're going to be looking at this new moon for January 13th of 2021. Thank you. Okay, that took up like a lot of our time. So a lot of you guys are releasing an earth sign individual. King of Pentacles is in the upright position. Spirits, give me some clarity. This is a definite person. Yeah, you guys, it's somebody from the past, the Six of Swords reversed, um, and the situation is really negative, and so, you know, I feel like not just releasing it, but getting some distance, dis distancing yourself. Um, I do feel like this person is not wanting to let the situation go, is that correct, spirits? Yep, the person is not wanting to let it go. They have a grudge against you, Cancer. The Five of Wands is reversed. And you guys have released that. Okay, or some of you may be working on releasing that or trying to release it. It may still be quite a bit of negativity going on with that. Um, now, where are you at now? The Hanged Man comes up in the reverse position. So the hanged man reverse is actually a lot better than in the upright position. I feel like a lot of you guys are taking a stand against accusations, uh, people putting their crap off on you. Always happens to the cancer spirit. Give me some clarity. Yep, the world is in the reverse position. I keep seeing all these cards <clears throat> relating to travel. Um, I can see people that are at a distance. Okay, even family, okay, or siblings, possibly. Now, what is emerging within you, the Two of Swords, is in the reverse position. So I feel like a lot of you guys are really, really, really trying to uh, set your intentions with as far as your reality and not allowing other people to cause you to feel negative emotions that don't serve your purpose. I do feel like a lot of you guys are trying to cut someone off. Spirit, give me some clarity. But a lot of you guys are having trouble doing it. Um, the tower comes up. Something to do with fate. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Yeah, and then the hierophant in the reverse position. So a lot of you guys are breaking free from the old mode. You're walking away from the past and you're 
what's emerging is is your reality shifting and breaking free again I, I do see another earth sign person with the hierophant representing a Taurus uh breaking free from some kind of spiritual bondage is what the hierophant reversed is representing and um I'm gonna throw an advice card at that hierophant advice for the cancers please yeah, the five of pentacles is in the reverse position. So cancers, many of you guys need to have faith in what you have faith in. Okay, have faith in what you have faith in, have faith in self. I feel like the five of pentacles reversed does represent being sort of hung down, having something to do with an ex-lover. Okay, and I feel like this stuff can be, you know, you can break free of a lot of this stuff. Okay. Um, now, what does Cancer wish to grow? The Seven of Wands is in the reverse position. I feel like it. I feel like this is your self, your strength. A lot of you guys are wanting to grow your families. A lot of you guys are wanting to grow your money. It's something. It, it can vary for different Cancers, but I feel like you guys have been feeling very much so stuck and blocked in okay now how can you bring your goals into fruition the knight of wands comes up in the reverse position saying that you guys need to have a stronger intent you guys need to be a lot more determined um i know cancers can be very sensitive um i am a cancer sun with a leo rising so i'm a little bit more aggressive but i do have my sensitive times uh spirits clarify this knight of wands Okay, so whoever this Knight of Wands is, um, I feel like maybe this person affects you energetically. Now, the Ten of Pentacles comes up upright, showing that this is a family member. Um, and so, advice. Uh, we need some advice here. Wow, this is a lot of clarifying. Okay, so I feel like the Queen of Cups is talking about healing energy. Okay, healing yourself. Okay, taking the time to heal yourself and then also cleanse yourself. Maybe even if this person is in your family, you may need to cleanse them. This could be a significant other or your husband. It's a fire sign coming up for your possibly a significant other. And their energy is very stagnant. Their energy seems to be very stagnant is what I can pick up and sense uh, from that. So... I feel like also, or she's talking about maybe organizing and, you know, maybe clearing out your, you know, maybe doing some spring cleaning. Okay. Um, what additional resources are available to cancer? The four of pentacles is in the reverse position. I feel like a lot of you cancers have a need to cord cut from a narcissist. And what I can sense is this energy just pulling on you energetically, bad energetic attachments with negative people, negative situations. Definitely can see a lot of earth sign energy in this reading. Um, also, I feel as though a lot of you guys are being thrown off of your path. Spirit, give me some clarity. Okay. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys probably would like to set your intent to have a new beginning. Okay. A lot of you guys really need cleanses. And there's a lot of bad energy that seems to sort of be, I feel like it's sort of suffocating your chakras. And it's causing all of this stagnated energy around you guys. So if you guys need to reach me for cleanses, my links are below. They are phenomenal. Also, some of you guys probably need road openers. But I do feel that it's you guys' confidence um, it is another thing, you know. So I feel like, but all in all, negative energies from the past once you get out of that situation, you want to clear yourself of it, especially if it's a situation that you were in kind of long term. So if you guys need to reach me, all of my links are below. 
I am a ordained high priestess. Yes, I am self-ordained. And uh, so if you guys need to reach me, this has been High Priestess Jamila. All of my links are below. Thank you so much for watching. Blessed be.